Hello everybody, so welcome back to another Bakugan vlog post. Got quite a number of uh, boxes and parcels here. Yeah, so let's get started. So uh, since there's so many boxes, I'll open all of them up first for take before we take a look. Okay. Yeah, so this is what's inside. Yeah, let's take a look at this first. This is a Baku Morph. There are a total of five I, I remember. So previously I was collecting these. I had the loose version of uh, Darak. I thought I'd just get it. This is on sale. This is basically the last box that I was missing. Until the head dropped off. It can be reconnected. See, it's a ball, ball joint. So yeah, quite lucky. The, the whole thing has become quite yellow now. Yeah, so this is the Bakumov Darak. Next, this is one of the Wave 2 Dekas. There are a total of 4 of them. So this is the Nevius, Diamond Nevius. For Dekas, there's no stats. I will unbox this when I get the rest of the others. Yeah, so the other three will be Mantid, Ventry, and Octagon. Another Octagon. Yes. Yeah, let's start with this then. This is a uh, Ventus Meta Dragonoid with uh, attribute wheel. The wheel spins very nicely. This is the turbine version. See, it's an L instead of a rectangle. See, it's an MG. Sega toy version. It's a Japanese version. I don't have any of the ripcords. Yeah, the, the ripcords that I had were are still in the boxes. Okay. I think this is a bootleg, if I'm not wrong. It's a bootleg. Yeah, I think just the original, but they just colored it. Yeah, I think it's just a colored version. Definitely not the Mactanium Search version. See, let me just do a comparison. The Mactanium Search version only came out in one size, which is B2, because it was released during Mactanium Search. Which one looks like this. There's a hole for the Bakunenos. It's pretty heavy as well. Yep. So see, this is the bootleg. Pretty heavy, because the feet is uh, die cast. You see the difference between them. Oh, the signs are switched. Okay, this. So B1. Oh, this is the Pyrus. B1 Cycloid. It's pretty difficult to find. Uh, the sticker is still on. It's cool. So yeah, I, I think I'm just missing the, the Aquas version if I'm not wrong. The Aquas version is seriously difficult to find. And this is the Pyrus version. I didn't realize I was missing this. So this is the Subterra Phosphorus. So uh, this is the Chrome version. When I was doing my inventory for the Gondelia Invaders, I realized I didn't have this. It's the Subterra version of Phosphorus. These were on sale, sort of. So this is a uh, Diamond Nilius. Same as this actually, it's just a small version, big version. Now, all these I've already opened before on the unboxings. This Titanium Bruiser. This is another prototype, I believe. Okay. Now, let's let's see this. It looks like the color looks like a bunch of prototypes. It's a Platinum Suteran. Very heavy. Quite nostalgic about the Platinums now. Prototype for Suteran. Platinum Suteran. Oh, this is a prototype for Tetonium. Right, Tetonium, right. Oh, maybe it's not a prototype, it's a, just an unpainted, I think. Unpainted Tetonium. This used to be very popular back in the day, very common. Yeah, but I like Tetonium. It's a very cool mold. Yeah, you can see from the sign, it's a, probably a reject. This is definitely a prototype. Color is different from the unpainted colors. What is this? Uh, oh, it's how call new how call red color version. Yeah. I was a bit hesitant to buy this actually. I didn't really want to buy it, but uh, yeah, the the seller got a gave me a good offer. Okay, so it, and what is this? Well, this is a red color oxidator. Uh, Pyrus ox uh, Pyrus Oxidator. Yeah, that's cool. Let's take a look at this. This is a custom. Custom Gagagaryu, I think. Yeah, I got quite a number of uh, these customs previously. It's missing one of the pieces on the side, so it's actually broken. Yeah, but if you ignore that, it's quite it's quite nice. Actually, if you know how to uh, just create this part, you can just stick it back on. This is uh, from what I understand from the seller. This is a recast. Looking at it, it looks exactly like the original. Maybe maybe if you look at the color, color looks a bit different. See yellow color? 
Yeah, so maybe looking at this, you can tell it's a recast. But the only sign I can tell is that it has no stem. But that's normal because a lot of the Cordelia Invaders have uh, faded stem dates. Anyway, this is supposed to be Darkest Translucent Phantom Dark. Press the top. Opens. Yeah. Looks like the real thing, right? Actually, I can't tell whether it's a real thing or not. The last one I saw that was supposedly the real thing was selling for about, I think, $3,000. Yeah, that was ridiculous. That's a ridiculous amount. And it is a recast. Supposedly a recast. It looks extremely well done if it is really a recast. Okay, so this is the translucent Phantom Darak recast version. Yeah, so the, the main one should be this clear, these two clear pieces. It's a prototype, definitely. So what is this? It's a prototype. Uh, I can't remember. Is this Hyper Dragonite? Yeah. Hey, give me another one of these. This is the Oxidator again. Pirates version. This is a prototype of a Farasco, the core version. Can okay, open. With, I think no magnet inside. Yes, the star of the show. Wow, I've got no idea what this is. What is what is this? Oh this is this is Mentanoid. Mentanoid from um Battle Planet. It would be nicer if the, the centerpiece was white was translucent as well. Mentanoid, yes I remember I got this. Yes, this is this is the star of the show. This was very, very expensive. It's very difficult to find. Maybe even the only piece. Whatever this is based on was not released. Uh, from Battle Planet, there was a Mo called Kaleon. So there was supposed to be a Diamond Kaleon that was released. This is a prototype of the Diamond Kaleon. Yes, so this is a prototype of Diamond Kaleon. The, the actual Diamond Kaleon was not released. There were only two versions of Kaleon that were released, the Darkest and the Pirates version. Yeah. So I'm still trying to find an actual copy of the Diamond. But I think this is the best I can, I can do. So, yes, this is definitely the style of the show, for me at least. So there were many interesting things in this haul. Yeah, I got a prototype uh, New Hell Coin Red, yes. Cycloid. One more step to completing the collection. Yes, this is the star of the show. It's uh, the prototype of Diamond Kaleon. and this extremely well done custom. I st I still can't believe this is a custom. It's extremely well done. Seriously, extremely well done. Okay. Yes. So this has been my haul for today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this content, please click like button and subscribe. See you next video. Thanks. Bye.